hi guys so i realized that i did not make an intro to this video so this video i'm going to show you how i um like you preserve your bouquet a floral preserve preserves so i've been looking around instagram and also facebook and they are quite pricey and when i say pricey i want to say like 900 or better or no i shouldn't say that maybe like 500 or better for bouquet that you already purchased for your wedding so i decided to come to good old youtube and try to um figure it out and i kind of um made something so i'm definitely going to have the link of all the products that i use below and stay tuned if you want to see how i did the floral how i preserve my wedding bouquet this is let's resin Oxy this is the resin i use i'm gonna um actually link this below i got this from amazon um i believe it says a and b is 32 ounce i haven't opened it yet so we're gonna do that right now yep so i believe you mix part a well, it's part b but you mix part a with part b and has a manual inside which is supposed to be no odor, no odor, no bubble free, um, mold friendly, so we hope. And it should take, work time is between 40 to 50 minutes and it should mold them. The mold time should be around eight to 24 hours. Fully cure time, two to three days, which is fine. I have time. So I'm just gonna read some more about it. All right, this is actually the mold um, plate that I bought from Amazon. It comes with, let me just open it. All right, so it looks like this. It comes with a mixing um, I think, and also a measuring cup to I guess the, to um, mix it and then this is the mold I'm gonna make so my um, bouquet could like be in this shape I have to figure out what I want like like that that's the shape I would like it to be in like almost like, like, like a diamond shape of course if I put it on the floor you can see it better yeah like that and you can see over here I just have my dried flowers and all that good stuff Alright guys, so all I'm doing is just let me move this out the way. It's just basically cutting up my eucalyptus and I did a rose which my um, rose came with a wire. So I'm just basically cutting it maybe a half an inch from the of the stem. So just leave that in so that's the thing. And yes, it's getting a little brown. I'm taking my time and kind of opening it just a little. And if you want, you can probably cut off the brown tip. I'm gonna take off this wire. Alright guys, so this is how it's kind of bunchy, but this is how my mock bouquet is gonna come out. Hopefully it works. So now I'm gonna pour uh the ratio for one to ones I'm gonna pour a hundred ml of the A into the measuring which is 100 ml yeah so i'm gonna pour that there this lock this up tight oops i got some flour in it <laughs> a piece of leaf then i'm gonna pour the b hope i'm in frame yeah And that's about a hundred there. And then we're gonna put that in there. And then we're going to mix. All right guys, so I'm literally just mixing the A 
and B um, resin together for three minutes. I have my timer going and then I'm going to pour it into the mold. All right, guys, it's been um, five minutes and this is what it looks like. And let's pour. I think it said I have to go. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I hope I'm doing this right. One thing about it, it seems like it sinks the flower. Like, like it. Right, guys, so now we're gonna. Oh, I see those bubbles. Is that bubbles? I hope those are not bubbles. Let's pour that all in. Pour that all in. Pour that all in. Pour that all in. And I think you can also scrape it because it has like stuff at the bottom. how it's looking I think I'm gonna do another 100 um, ml each and then I think we should be good after that we should be good let's see okay so I decided to do the 200 one because they were saying I might have to mix it away. I want I hope this will be my last mixture so let's see I think it was right. This will be my last mixture. I hope. <laughs> Maybe I need another 100. Maybe 50. I think I should do another 50 or so. Maybe another 100 or maybe 50. All right, guys. So now we're going to pour hopefully the last. 100 mils like this and we hope this works we're trying to get all the nooks and cranny all right guys i just decided to finish up the last of the resin so basically this project took 32 um ounces of a and b so just keep that in mind so I'm just mixing and um, for three minutes and then I'll pour the last on top and hopefully everything will, you know, fall into place. I know there are a little, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if I could zoom you guys in, but like you can see all around here, like the roses are still um, sticking up. So I don't know if it's going to cover or what's going to happen. Let's just hope for the best. All right, guys. You might see some red specks. These were actually some roses that we had from our honeymoon. So I just decided to just to drop a little piece in here, which they look... I must say they cooperate better than the, the whole buds, like rose petals much easier to work with petals flower petals i did take some of the eucalyptus that i felt like was sticking up so i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna put the last of the resin on top and hope for the best all right guys so this is the final product so I'm literally going to let it stay and set for as long as it needs. I think about five days, maybe six days. So I will come back with the final, um, how it looks. And then we'll just take it out together. So please stay tuned. See you soon. Hi guys. Hope all is well. So it's been now 24 hours and the bouquet is all nice and set. Um, I like, I love how it came out. It, it shows a little yellow, which it is, but you know, we're going to make it work. So 
if you take it out, which is literally just pulling this off, this is the bottom, which it is nice and thick, but the top is a little like, it I, needs a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to buy some more and put it at the bottom of this container and then to kinda turn it down this way so this side could get as smooth. Like this side will be as smooth as this side. But this is the shape. Like some of the flowers are just kind of still coming off. So I think I need like a, maybe another. And you guys could see it like right here. This is still sticking up. So you see like it has that edge right here. So I feel like if I flip it over and I can um, get everything coated, then it'll be as smooth as this. And then I'll be able to put it on my mantle. And this will be my wedding bouquet, which I'm surprised how nice this came out. Like, I think I could make other um, projects. So stay tuned. What I will probably do, not to make this too long, I will just probably put a picture here of what it looks like all completed. So please like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.